everybody. Welcome back to another season of Whatcha Packin'. I am Michelle Visage and let's do this. Joining me today is Dahlia. Dahlia, Dahlia, <laughs> the broccoli. Oh my God. <laughs> we're gonna talk about that in a minute. We were just talking off camera. Now, you're from Brooklyn, uh -huh. but you're really from Michigan. Yes. You're really a Michigander. I'm really a Michigander. Right. <laughs> and you moved to Brooklyn when you were 17. Yes. So you live here now in LA. Yeah. You moved mm -hmm. to LA mm -hmm. because. You know, trying to be like, that girl that moves out from her house and tries to do something new, so you know. I mean, I did it. Are you happy? <laughs> I am happy. Like, everybody's like telling me to move back. They're like, girl, move back. You know, you got more gigs here. I'm like, girl, I got gigs wherever. That's it. You're right. And you're a baby. How old are you? I'm 28. I yeah. look like a, a baby, baby, but. 28 still a baby. Yeah. <laughs> it might not feel like 26 for me was the first year that I was like, oh my God, I'm an adult. Girl, literally. Like, when I turned 25, I was like, oh. Oh. Yes. Because they say when you're when you when you hit 25, that's when you're not uh, like a young gay anymore. You're just old. Basically, you're dead. Not old. I, that's what they say. Wait, you're 50, <laughs> so you've got a lot of time. <laughs> Literally. And you're gonna enjoy it. And you got on RuPaul's Drag Race. Girl. Was this your first season auditioning? No, this was my second. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, that's <laughs> not a long time that they that you had to wait. Yeah. And what did you love about it? Did you love walking in the workroom, meeting friends? What was the uh -huh. experience? It was a quick experience. It was it was real quick. But it was a fun experience. <laughs> did you like it? I had uh, a great time. I lived for uh, just walking to the workroom because it was bigger than I expected to be. I thought it was going to be like these little this little wall and then, you know, just we're just staring into space or whatever. But it was really cute. I enjoyed uh, meeting all the girls. I knew half of them, so it wasn't that hard to did get you? used to people. Yeah, I knew like almost all of them. Did you? Yeah, I did. Because I worked with almost every single one. All the New York girls, of course, I know them. They're all my sisters. I knew Gigi beforehand because she's my new LA sister. So I knew a lot of the girls beforehand. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I walked in, I was like, okay, I know you. I know you. I've seen that outfit before, so I definitely know you. <laughs> and do people tell you when you're in drag that you have kind of like an Aja vibe? Um, they do tell me that because we do kind of look similar. We both have tattoos. We're light skinned. We, we're tall. So we do have like similarities with, with, with our looks. She's a little wackier than you are. She's crazy. Yeah. Her aesthetic's crazier than yours is. Yeah. But you do more of a sexy thing than Aja uh -huh. does. Yeah, definitely. And I love I love watching you in drag because you are very conscious of it. Uh -huh. And I, I like that. I'm like too self-conscious of it. Like always in my head about, girl, this has to be perfect. This has to be it. And then, you know, then it gets out of my head if I'm, if well, I'm not Well, because right. when you do that, you mm -hmm. almost price yourself out of it. Like yeah, there is no such thing as perfect. Exactly. So you have to go with what's going to work for you in the moment and stop. In a competition, I understand you wanting to nitpick because right. we're going to do that too. Literally. And it's a really tough season. Mm -hmm. You all are so good this season. Right. Um, but even down to like the outfit that you wore when you went home, uh -huh. I thought the outfit, the muted colors were beautiful, but yeah. because your skin tone, they were bringing you down with that hair and right. the headpiece. The minute you took that little bunny ear thing off, I went, oh my God, that hair's actually really beautiful. Just like a little, the little beautiful, kitten wig. But it was beautiful, <laughs> the, like the lavender-y color. Uh -huh. It was like a little pinky purple yes. muted color, yeah. Mm -hmm. But once you took that off your head, it became a totally different thing. I remember okay. looking at Rue and going, why didn't she take that? Because <laughs> it was so, because you yeah. are really beautiful in and Thank out of drag. You. But then the whole broccoli thing happened. I chose to do broccoli, which was a mistake. Right. Clearly. <laughs> I chose to do. <laughs> Oh I God. chose her just because I saw the silhouette. So I thought it was gonna be a silhouette that was kind of big. Like I thought it, I didn't know it was a headpiece because I saw it sitting on the floor. So I thought it was just gonna be like this big top and the slim waist. I was like, oh, I want to be her just because of just because of that. And then we did our script and did everything. And then I saw it and I was like, oh, bitch, this is a f***ing headpiece. It's only gonna be downhill from there. So you just f yourself over. It's so. <laughs> Funny because you're like so beautiful in this broccoli. Uh -huh. with those big, big hands. The big hands, the big boobs, those nipples, girl. Yes! Girl, I was looking crazy. The bodysuit was so scrunchy and messy looking, uh -huh. so I was like, let me look a little messy. And then I was like, Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. So funny. And you know, it tells me uh -huh. what a good sport you are. Girl, I had an amazing time, good. even though it was short. It was short. Now that you're in with the family and yeah. you're part of the RuPaul's Drag Race mm -hmm. family, there's gonna be plenty of things for you to do. You're gonna be mm -hmm. out there working. People will laugh every time Brock Ally comes up. Girl. <laughs> what would you have done in Snatch Game? Jeffree Star was my number one, and then my second one was Cardi B. Oh, Those wow. are my two like top ones. And then I also had the ASMR girl, you know, the pickle lady. Uh-huh. That was my 
my third That's option. That's hilarious. Let's talk your beautiful fashion. Okay. Now, who made this gorgeous gown? This is by one of my favorite designers. He does a lot of my costumes, uh, Juan Chavez from LA. Beautiful. Um, it's, you know, like my little black uh, classy gown. You know, I'm not too classy, but, you know, I don't want to try to be a little classy. Who are you talking to? You talking to me? <laughs> right. And this gorgeous piece. Very Gaga inspired, Judith. You know, I wanted to go for, you know, very me, but not me at the same time. Right. I think it's really fun, regal, different. <laughs> this is how you cover up a bodysuit well. Girl, literally. <laughs> and this one's really fun. See, this yeah. is House of Aja. This is very House of Aja, yes. very kawaii, you know, anime. Um, I wanted it to be very something that was still me, but more campy. Right. Because I don't, I don't do camp. I do it here and there, and I want to do very big and bold. And that but, was you know, sitting here with you in mm -hmm. this form, I think you could do camp and do it well. I think you're really <laughs> fun. Yeah. I think you're funny. I think you're sweet. Oz is really crazy. So to be in that yeah. house, yeah. I feel like you get the jokes. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's literally the craziest environment you will ever be in. With all of us, all at once, girl, you would get annoyed and you would just, but you would also have fun with I'm us. I'm used to kids like you. Are you kidding me? I grew up around you kids. We're just drama, literally drama. Starting drama for no reason and living drama all day. At least you admit it. I wish you could have stuck around longer, but I really, know. you got a gift here with the broccoli. I'm not kidding. <laughs> the broccoli. I'm not ally. kidding. You're going to be doing appearances in that damn broccoli suit. I just wanted to wear some shades and just sit there like, Hilarious. Just being a bitch. You do realize you're gonna have to wear that broccoli outfit to the Girl, family. I know. They're gonna make me wear it everywhere. Every time I go out. Girl, maybe I'll do a glammed up version of broccoli outfit. Listen, <laughs> if you get a broccoli head piece that doesn't weigh 10 pounds. Girl, just a little a little petite one, you, you know. You can do it. I'm not kidding. Give a head a lettuce moment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Head a broccoli. Head a broccoli, it's girl. It's gonna be your thing, and I think you oh should own God. it. Oh my God, I'm gonna run with it. I can't give you enough credit for being a team player. It's yeah. pretty freaking awesome. You are an amazing, gorgeous drag queen, Dahlia Sin. It Thank wasn't you, babe. long enough, I know. but there's always next time. Girl, just put me in the in the background. I'll be a tree. <laughs> just put me in the back, girl. Amen. <laughs> How do we find you on social media? Dahlia Sin. Dahlia underscore Sin on Instagram. Dahlia Sin on Facebook. Dahlia Sin on Twitter. Dahlia Sin on Grindr. Girl, find me. Scrub. <laughs> Crawler, growler. All of them. All okay. All right. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you for having me. Of course. <laughs> and thank you for joining me for another episode of What You Packin'. I will see you next time. Bye. Subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel so you don't miss any of RuPaul's Drag Race.